something went wrong with the video that I was making, so I had to, to stop and start again. But anyway, um, continuing that with all the religions, the four main ones that I would say, um, which are Christi Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and multiple gods. So they're the four that I would say are the, the main ones. All four of them are in the bottom of my list. Out of the 12 that there is, all four are the bottom of my list. But the thing is, we can't actually get an accurate description on on no, an accurate count on how many people worship the other eight because Christians or people who are counting don't see atheism as a religion. I do see atheism as a religion. It's a belief that there is no God. It's a belief that all religious or religions are created by crazy people who don't know know anything and, and just saying rubbish. You know, that that is what atheism is. And that is what I was for a long time because I, I, I thought... You know, if you if you watch the Christian Christian videos, you know, I've brought up in a Christian family and my mum is a complete idiot. I realized this from the age of six. And because I because I knew she was a complete idiot, I questioned everything that she believed in. And because she was a strong, I think she was a strong Catholic. Um, I, I basically had no respect for her religion because I thought it was a religion for idiots because my mum was Catholic and she was a complete idiot. So I, I've always had a disrespect towards any kind of religion because of my mum. But um, but yeah, I it's still a narrative to believe that there is no God and that religions are just made by crazy people. It, it, it's, it's a narrative and it is it should therefore be counted as a religion. Um, because technically you are believing something that can't be proven. You are believing that there is no God. You can't prove it. You can say that the world is shit and therefore that's a pr proof that there is no God, but it's not because if God hates everyone, then that could be another reason why, you know, there could be really many reasons why the world is shit. Either God does not have the power to change things. God doesn't like people, hence doesn't want to change people. Um, and yeah, I have always believed in reincarnation. The thing is, it's not actually considered to be a religion. You know, if you ask people, if you if you, i saw actually an interview of, of pink someone just a clip on you on instagram someone saying what's what's your religion and then she said she believes in reincarnation and the first thing the interviewer asked was what would you want to come back as and it's just like a human like why why does being be, believing in reincarnation mean that you believe you're going to come back as an animal in your next life no being believing in reincarnation means that you're going to come back as something as equally as intelligent i mean that's that's how i would see it but yeah, if you are believing in reincarnation and you think you are 100% going to come back as an animal in your next life, then I, I feel like that's a sign that you don't want to be a human. Um, but, um, but yeah, my version of believing in reincarnation just simply believes that you're going to come back as another another human in your next life. And I've always believed in that. Um, but yeah, I never thought that there was a God behind it. I kind of didn't believe in the matrix, but I, I guess I thought there was a type of matrix system that was judging people. And, and, you know, I was always curious about what my past life was. And I liked the Victorian age and I liked clothing of the past. But I, yeah, I could never really like work it, work out what I was. Um, I did think cave, cave person. I, I've, I think I've, I have always seen that, um, that vision slightly. Um, but I, I was never like that that didn't make sense to me you know if the world has been you know thousands of people have lived and stuff and so if my past life was a cave woman it's like well where the fuck have i been for thousands of years so even though i believed that i was a cave woman in one of my past lives i i thought i would have had more lives like everyone else you know I, I, everyone has re gets reincarnated over and over again when i say that i don't mean you come back as a, a butterfly and then a, a, a lion and then and then a, a dog and you know that's there's an order and and so yeah i think even believe even the belief in reincarnation has lots of different levels you know some people do think that they can come back as a butterfly and i, I don't think that's crazy because butterflies are stupid and, and they can't fly in straight directions and, and they've got no brain or soul or, or mind and make it's very very tiny so um even even the belief in reincarnation is but at the same time if you ask someone do they believe in reincarnation they wouldn't be classed as a in that religious sector and so you've the world has has divided the main religions into christianity judaism islam and um and what and and then multiple gods which i don't know has been broken up into lots of different things that i don't really know anything about but there is other religions the belief in reincarnation to me is isn't about a god it's just about 
you know you go from it's more about yourself but at the same time there's nothing wrong with that um so you know i'd love there to do uh, like a proper test to work out um to, to not divide the world into four main sectors sectors um you know a, a variety of different multiple gods christianity judaism and islam you know that's that's how the world has divided it but if you actually tested people you know if you if you asked an islamic person and you did a test and you got every single one of those nine, 99 names and you asked them is god this is god merciful i mean some people might be islamic and yet think does is god merciful and then they could look around at what's happening in, in the wars and stuff like this i mean to, to be living in gaza right now and think that god is merciful i, I think shows that you are being very ignorant to what God is. So I'm sure there's plenty of Muslims in, in Gaza right now who does not think God is merciful because uh, shit is happening to them. Um, so I, I feel like if, if you were to, find, you should do tests to find out how Islamic a person is. So if you have 99 names of God, write, tick yes or no. You can say that it's going to be confidential. You're never going to expose it. You know, No one's ever going to know. You're not going to be penalized or anything, but just get them to say yes or no. Do you think God is this? Do you think God is this? Because as far as I'm concerned, the 99 names are just a big, long list of things that I'm not, not everything that I'm not, that, that is what they are. But hence, you can work out how, how Islamic someone is. Are they 10% Islamic? You know, would they just tick 10 of the boxes or would they tick all 99? Um, I suppose it's big bad if there's 100 ones so that the, the, the 100th one can be something else that you decide. Um, you know, do you actually pray? Do you actually follow the, the tradition or do you just call yourself Islamic because it's safer, you know? Um, and I think the same could be said with Christianity. You know, there's a lot of people that call themselves Christian. Um, but if you ask them things like, do you believe in Adam and Eve? Do you think snakes talked in the garden? Do you think, you know, if, if you ask them a big, long list of questions, do you really think that God liked Abraham? Um, do you think, uh, you know, anything? Do you think Moses was God's chosen person? You know, if, you, if you asked a lot of Christians to, to tick boxes about what they believe in you'll probably find that there aren't actually that many christians so there's supposed to be millions of christian billions of christians maybe but are they actually christian because i think a lot of them a good percentage of them believe in a god call themselves christian but really know nothing about the religion they just believe in a god and that's it hence they shouldn't be classed as christian and i i would love to know this why because i hate christians i hate i hate judaism is is madness it's it's madness to, to read those 613 laws and believe that this is what god thinks you know I, I think you must be crazy inside you know i'm not saying that all jewish people are are crazy because obviously you're very good at business and, and there's, there's obviously a lot of skill inside of you but to to think that that is the truth about me i i, I feel like there's something you have mental illness and then they also do this this to, to the wall they stand in front of a wall looking like they're peeing on it and and shake their head like some sort of pigeon I mean that that's madness this is madness there are so many things in Christianity that and and Judaism and and Islam that that I would class as being insanity um and and therefore I I, I the thought that these are the four main religions ones that I I link to insanity and craziness and and just inversion and you know I link all four of them to, to inversion okay I think Islamic Islamic is actual literal inversion um judaism you know that the, the kaaba the kaaba uh the mecca the mecca box there's like a, a box it looks like a prison it looks like a horrible prison that i do not want to be living in um in a in what's it a roman looks like a roman coliseum is around it with where you know where you have the lions fighting the people and, and you've just stuck a bo box in the middle an ugly box that 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 worships a stone that looks like a piece of coal and it's just it's to me this is madness i i i don't mean to insult people who would do believe in this but i i feel like it's it's a form of madness um but at the same time not every islamic person is mad so i i i i i would like to believe that there are plenty of islamic people that believe in god call it allah because that's what everyone else does that's, that's what their family each family does but really they don't necessarily believe in all these things and and i would love there to be a test just to see how islamic a person is how christian a person is how um, judaism how judis how judicious a person is.
um and 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 then when it comes to multiple gods i would class them all as the same thing it's just people believing you know if some people believe in a thousand gods and some people believe in a hundred gods it's the same thing well, what's the difference you know it's just coming up with stories and believing things of of the past that people have written um so yeah um but yeah because I hate all four of them, I would love to believe that some of these people don't actually belong in those four categories, but rather belong in, in even atheism. I, I don't give a shit if you don't believe in God. I can't, I'm God. You don't have to believe in me. Um, I, I would just like to know that you don't believe in the sort of crazy traditions that are embedded in the four main religions. Um, and therefore, I would love there to be like a proper test where you actually get people to say, what are you more rather, you know, even Sikhism, you can be a Sikh, but not want to wear the headdress and, and the clothing, because it does look like a giant beehive, it's just, it's just like a big beehive on your head, and to think that, that you are smarter because of that, I feel like that just shows that you are not smart, um, and, and yeah, the clothing doesn't look very good either, um, and, and, Buddhism to have like that big fat ugly guy as, as your sort of idol I, I feel like how can you be claiming to be worshipping sort of health and mind and, and body and spirit when your idol is is the exact inter the, the exact contradiction of everything you're supposed to be worshipping um, so I yeah uh, I, I I wouldn't I, I, ha I hate the fact that people worship these this madness and therefore, I would love to believe that they are you know, spiritualism. You can be a Christian and spiritualism because you can be a Christian because you just call yourself a Christian because you live in a Christian country. But really, you actually believe in spiritualism and the one God and you don't really see, you know, the Christian God. as You see it as being the God, but you just think that God is a bit more nicer than, than the, how the Christians portray it. And, and that could actually should actually be classed as you being a spiritualist rather than being a Christian. I mean, technically, Christianity was supposed to be formed by the spirit, so one can be a spiritualist, yet also call themselves Christian. I mean, if you're following the spirit, well, you could say that the Bible people who wrote that were also following a spirit, but you just don't follow what they followed because that was a long time ago, and now you're you moving on. Some people call themselves Christians, and they're, and they're not. Um, and and so I'd love to know an accurate version of of who is actually a, a, a spiritualist or who is actually an atheist even though they wouldn't class that as a religion it's not a religion it's a lack of religion no a religion is a belief and you believe that god is not real hence it is a belief you know um and and also the belief that god is real but re religions are not again that is a religion with a narrative but it is different to atheism because atheism is where you just have no belief in a god and where belief in a god means that you're kind of more open-minded to the fact that other people believe in God, hence there must be some truth behind it. Um, so, I, you know, they might call themselves Christian, but they're not really, you know, and, and because I hate Christians, I would love to know the, the reality of what these, these 12 main religions are. And I think there is a 13th one, which would be Wicca and witchcraft. Um, but yeah, again, there's the different divisions in witchcraft and witch, in, in Wicca and witchcraft, because, you know, I, I, Definitely, that was my favourite. I believe in magic and and ghosts and and trying to find out what what they're about and and you know just mysticism as well. But I never actually believed in a god. Like if there was spells that I was trying to cast, and you know a lot of them did have some random goddess names, goddesses names that I could never read. Hence, most of the the sp spells that I did, I would replace whatever the name, the goddess or god name that that was, and I would replace it with just blah blah. Hail to blah blah, give me power, give me this, give me that. Thank you, blah blah. <laughs> you know, I could never. The, the names just seemed bizarre to me, so I, I never believed in that. But I believed in channeling the energy and and maybe feeling, maybe not seeing the gods and goddesses as as actual gods and goddesses, but seeing them as just different energies. Um, but yeah, I'm, I wouldn't really call that spiritualism because I wasn't really more for the spiritual side. You know, if you needed things like sage and I didn't have it, I'd just be like, okay, well, just imagine putting sage in and and, and just imagine putting this in. You've got, oh, I got salt. Yeah, we can actually put salt and, and water. Yeah, I can get water and a candle. Yes, I can get a candle. 
oh, you need a, a green candle. Oh, I haven't got a green candle. Well, let's just use a, a white candle and pretend that it's green. Imagine that it's green. So that, that was kind of my my version of, of Wicca, just using my imagination and and, and um, hoping that whatever outcome I was trying to create was just testing it to see, testing to see if it worked. And I, I don't really know if it ever did. So because of that, I, I don't necessarily, I like to believe things with proof. And I tried lots of spell casting. Um, but I think the only one that seemed to work was making trains late. You know, if you're running for a train and you're running two or three minutes late, you can try, start casting spells in your head to try and make the train late um, so that you would catch it. That one usually worked. But then again, trains are always usually late. So I, I can't necessarily say that it was being late because of me. Um, I, I feel like it was just um, something that probably happened all the time. So, um, yeah. The eye colour one was the only one that I believed it was evidence. I swear I've, I've had, back at boarding school, I had different coloured eyes quite a lot. And I I don't know if it was the lighting, because I have tried them, these spells in different rooms. And my, my eye colour would always look different. They've gone from green, brown, dark blue, um, yellowy even. Um, and, and, then, and then a mixture of lots of different colours. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that was the spell or if I was just trying them in different different rooms. Um, but I swear sometimes I would it would be different in the beginning than in the end. But anyway, that was the I was the only real evidence that I had that, that magic was real. Um, but anyway, um, I would love I would I would love there to be tests to see um, how Islamic a person is, how Christian a person is. Um, and how Hindu a person is, or um, just just to get like information about about what the average person believes. Um, but yeah, I, I had to make the pages about the inversion of is Islam. I think it's because of what's going on in the Palestine in Palestine. You know, people might be wondering why I don't really care, um, and I think the answer to that is that these people know nothing about me, cannot connect to me in any way, have no knowledge of me, they can't sense me, and and it's not that I, I don't care about anything, I don't care about anyone, um, but it's not, it's not personal to them, because technically you don't have to know me, you don't have to, to connect with me, um, but, you know, I'm going to favour people who do connect with me, um, and, and so, it's it's more it's more about that you know I I don't I hate the 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 Mecca temple that black box that they they circle around you know I that would be my nightmare home um, the Torah the Jewish home you know I don't like that one either I mean it's a bit bland and it's, it looks like a sand castle and it's got no windows and it's got no garden and it's it, you know it doesn't it doesn't look livable it doesn't look nice particularly um, but it looks nicer than the black box. It's, it's almost like different levels of the black box, you know, the the, the Islamic home of God is, is a tiny, horrible black box. The the Judaism version of God's ideal home is is this sort of sandcastle looking building that has no windows. Um, not my type, but it's 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 better than the box. Um, and then Christian, the Christian version of, of what, you know, Paris looks like or paradise or God's home looks like it's sort of some sort of magical castle in the sky, which, which looks such so much better. Um, but yeah, it's not really really based in reality because I'm I, I would want a nice home on earth. You know, when I'm a spirit, I can technically, if I'm God, you know, I can I can just walk into anyone's home and just live there or just stay there. Um, so yeah, as a God, I don't actually want any. As a spirit, I don't really want a, a home in, in paradise because I can just have. The millions of homes on earth um but yeah as a human i do want something real um they yeah, are it feels it feels sad to think that the four the main four religions that people worship are um are the main four religions that i hate um so i i, I would love there to be a, a better calculation of, of trying to work out what people really are and, and make people not feel shameful for saying you know i believe in god but i don't believe in christianity you know that is not a shameful thing if so people should not feel like they should just say they're christian because um 
they feel like they're going to be shamed by saying that. I think they should be proud to say that.